actually we are starting from a very good place uh, compared to a lot of other countries. I think we have a very effective corporate governance system in place. Um, I absolutely recognise the need for continuing improvement and that you know, recent scandals um, in recent years have, I think, damaged trust in companies. And I think um, it's in everybody's interest, commercially and from a governance point of view, to make some improvements. So very much in favour, in principle, of the changes. But I think, um, for me personally, there will be some practical challenges in how we can implement those and, and perhaps demonstrate that the objectives of the changes can be delivered. The concern as a, an investor is that uh, the, uh, the, board, the, the board directors are not always as independent as they should be. They should be there to represent the whole company and not just the board. They should be looking after the success of the company. They should be there to ask the questions and challenge the executive management to make sure that all the alternative scenarios and strategies have been considered to make sure that the company is a success for the long term. The main concerns, I think, are, are to try and ensure that you end up with effective boards that are focused on the right things and that they have a real wider consideration. Um, I think one of the issues is potentially that this may be too narrow a focus and there's been a disconnect between certain levels of, um, of boardroom development, boardroom actions and actually wider company, wider company employees uh, and the wider public as a whole. So. It's making sure that there, there is still trust in the corporate institutions that are the companies effectively powering the economy.